Yes, guys, I'm not heading towards the Lion Sculpture. No. Going here in St. George. Which was carried by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the signal station. Looking up at the land, which was carved in 1868. And the statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball, which signifies a globe. It's supposed to be a globe. By the way, this is a one way street. So people are supposed to only come down, not go up. So in the direction I'm heading in, is where the vehicle is supposed to be coming down. This way, so the, vision, the direction in which I'm heading in, there's to be no vehicles heading in this direction. And this road will lead you up to the signal station and to the and to Newberry, the yeah, first avenue in Newberry, and back to Newberry. And I said, only traffic coming down is supposed to be coming in this direction, not this direction. So I am in the center of the island once more in the parish of St. George, heading towards the Lion Sculpture, which was sculpted by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at the signal station in 1868 and the statue is just below the signal station the signal station is above here and it was sculpted in 1818 it was established in 1818 and it's 700 feet above sea level and it gives awesome views of the southeast and possibly west of the island The land here, and this is inscripted in Latin. Land here, and we are overlooking the St. George Valley and the south of the island and the west. This is the lion here at Gun Hill in St. George. Looking out of Gun Hill near Road again. And to looking into the St. George Valley and Christ Church, which is at the south of the island. Alright. That's base. We're looking at the land sculpture. At Glen Hill, St. George. Came back from Glen Hill near the road. On the St. George Valley. And the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed evening.